What is going on guys? Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It is May 12th here at about 6.30 in the morning and I'm just enjoying some coffee to get my day rolling here. Crazy jump in the YouTube timeline, right? We went from freaking January to May. What's going on? It's my little woodchuck buddy that lives under my shed. I think he sees me. Well, things for today. Um, we got two main reasons why we're doing this live update. Uh, the next video you see will be back in winter time. I think we left off in January. Been trying to keep the channel chronological to this point and then from then on once we get through the winter season it's going to be boom 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 all the summer toys we ride and all the stupid stuff my friends and i do we got a lot of stuff planned a couple of trips so stay tuned for that but yes we got two things on the agenda for today um first off we got a shout out that we heard from the grapevine it's more of a call out but it's for a good reason um youtube creator sometime is now He's definitely an avid TikTok face guy. He loves all my videos. Through the grapevine, I saw one of his YouTube videos. He actually uh, called me out um, directly. So we're going to go honor that. It's uh, called Belts for Cancer. It's a, you know, donation event kind of going around right now for all snowmobilers um, to take your belts off and hang them up and then make a donation. Um, it's for a good cause. So today is May 12th. Um, I began filming this on May 6th. Uh, that was right before the weekend. Me, Upstate Zach, Upstate Travis, we actually went out of town for the weekend for our snowmobiling buddies up north. He had his uh, 30th birthday party, and it was on the Kentucky Derby, and it was a surprise party. So we were calling it the Dirty Derby 30th. Had a crazy good time. But yes, back to today, uh, we're finishing this video up uh, filming wise and we're gonna go on our Sometime Is Now's uh, call out that he made to us as well as we're bringing some crazy news to the channel, possible new vehicle, we got a lot of stuff, so let's get into it. It's freaking May, man, it's May, I'm doing a live video. The next video you guys are gonna see is back to winter. Get through the rest of the season here. Guys, my workshop isn't much, but it is mine, and it'll do. Uh, we got Blue's Clues back at my house, um, not up north, and we are going to honor this call out. We got the belt off the unit here, and uh, good thing, too, because this one is getting there. It's got a lot of miles on it, man. You know, it's got this fray right here. Probably doesn't have much life left in it. Belts off for cancer, man, hanging right there. I really genuinely am um, honored to be a part of it. Due to privacy, I'm, I'm not gonna release the names of she or he, but this person, a uh, really close friend of mine just got diagnosed uh, with cancer. You don't have to do donate $10 trillion a year to a cause to make a difference. You know, with social media now, everything's so easy to spread words and it's just, you know, getting acknowledgement and getting getting it out there is half the battle, especially when it comes to such a serious issue such as cancer. I know this doesn't seem like much, taking a snowmobile belt off and hanging it up for cancer awareness. Some people might be like, that's just ridiculous. But, you know, it's just, it's taking time out of your day and putting an effort into something to make an awareness known. And, and I really do, you know, I get it. But yes, guys, this isn't by coincidence why the SRX is home. Um, we are getting ready to sell it, believe it or not. I can't even believe that those words are coming out of my mouth. I really wish that this wasn't real life and, you know, I could just win the lottery tomorrow, but it is what it is. I am getting ready to sell uh, Blue SRX. I do have a buyer, a really good guy. You know, he knows what he's in for with this beautiful machine. God, this thing has just been such an awesome sled. I, I can't get over it. I have never loved a snowmobile as much as I love this thing. I mean, first off, just the look of it. You guys know, you know, I've been a winter lover and snowmobiling full center my whole life. In double digits for the amount of snowmobiles that I've ridden or owned. And, you know, it's just, this is, this is a part of me. I truthfully can admit right now, I have never loved a snowmobile as much as I've loved this thing. I really don't want to sell it. You know, it's just not in the cards right now. But that cues me to the next part of this video. A really good reason on why I am selling Blue's Clues here. We snow checked a new sled. I'm gonna spill the beans now and you guys are probably gonna freak, especially the people that love me for being a Yamaha guy. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I will always be a Yamaha guy, always, 100%. That Yamaha clock and sign in my house is never coming down. But let's go take a look 
at what I got coming. Just put the old vented side panel on Bluey here, back on it with the belt still hanging up. I do mean business. This is a no cancer garage. This bike has sat here since I put it in here when I moved into this house two years ago. Never used it once. Hey guys, I'm a mountain bike rider. You know, I, I love hitting jumps and uh, doing wheelies, you know, on two wheels. That's cute. How about 300 horsepower? I don't know when uh, my buyer is coming. He's going out of town, he made known. So uh, it's probably going to be the end of May. So this is probably going to sit in the garage for another couple weeks. We'll keep you guys posted on the sale or the back out on this. But I really, you know, not blowing smoke. This is a really beautiful unit. Um, he knows what he's buying. And I just hate to see it go. And hopefully I'll see him out on the trail. Bye, buddy. Oh, forgot to turn the lights off. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. That was a dirty, dirty belt. Yeah, we freaking are. So yeah, guys, back to May 12th. I just made a small donation. No matter how big or small, every little bit helps. Um, they've already raised what looks to be, you know, a good chunk so far. And, you know, it's awesome when it's something regarding what you love, which is snowmobiling, you know, a great way for a niche community to kind of come together. And cancer just genuinely sucks. Um, I found out the news with my friend. Uh, last week and kind of took me back a little bit made me you know think about you know how blessed I am and you know how much we do take for granted and it's just nice to support something other than yourself for a little bit so yeah made a donation um, I'll make sure to put the link in the description and let's get to the second part of this video so yes guys we are selling blues clues with the upcoming news, uh, we snow checked a new sled. I kind of want to make this like a grand unveil. So what I'm going to do is I was sent a video uh, last week from the dealer um, regarding my snow check. So we're just going to play a quick sound clip from that. Uh, you guys have been on this journey with me uh, from the start. So I don't, you know, I'm, I'm new to the YouTube realm and i don't know what's allowed what's like legality wise if you're allowed to share other people's videos even a sound clip i hope this doesn't get flagged because it's for a good cause you know informational whatever first and foremost i want to say a big congratulations to you snow checking a brand new 2023 player snowmobile i know myself it's from that small little clip you could probably tell i snow checked a polaris this is crazy right now i am switching brands and it might not seem like that big of a deal but I have always been a cat guy. Uh, my dad was a cat guy. My grandpa started off, you know, riding scorpions. A lot of the brands that, you know, are out of business. That's how long ago this this brand lineage goes. Cats were always it. From the days, you know, of the, the fan cool to the liquids to the triples, the drag racing triples. We have been diehard cat guys. Had a couple of Yamahas. It was always either cat or Yamaha. Now, this is the first time that in me or my father's history that a different brand is going to be in the in, a, in our garage. Like, what is going on right now? But yes, with the drum roll, uh, we snow checked a 2023 Polaris Assault Boost craziness. You know, it's the only sled that came out and I went, what the heck? What time are we living in? We, we've got turbo two strokes available from the factory now. And I saw it and I had to have it. This is still just surreal to me. Um, you know, it, it might not be a big deal to some people, but you know, we don't, we're not making any money from social media right now. This is the biggest purchase I've ever made on a toy other than my house. Um, so it's a pretty substantial deal. Let's get into the yes, build. Yes guys, moment of truth. This is my snow check 2023 Polaris. We did the orange spindles. You know, this is all one, the orange skid, uh, yellow tunnel. Um, let's get into some of the options. And then I only did three paid options on this and you'll see why once I show you guys the price of why I, <laughs> I skimped out a little bit, but um, I didn't do the windshield. I really wanted the hand guards. I think the only option that I, I wish I did was the illuminated hand guards. Make it, it, cause it needs to be brighter being orange and yellow, right? It's a freaking traffic cone going down the trail. I did electric start. I did uh, the RCA cable for the like the heated cable for your helmet um and i also did the heated seat and i know a bunch of people are gonna think this is pretty stupid hey you gotta get what you want right um i had the heated seat on the srx i, I really hardly use it but with how cold it was last year i used it more than ever um it was negative i mean some nights it hit almost negative 30 and i'll tell you what um for the people who haven't experienced the heated seat it is wild it doesn't just warm your butt up it warms like think about it you're in a you're in a snowmobile insulated suit heat rises so when you're sitting on it it's crazy how it makes you feel it kind of warms your whole body up part of the reason why i justified it i've never seen a polaris heated seat before um i guess we're gonna 
we'll see we'll see how it is once i get it but yes i did get that option on it this is probably about the only good reason why I would consider selling Blue's Clues in the first place, uh, to get a new sled. I miss the corner-to-corner -corner life. I'm not minimizing the SRX or the 998's handling ability, but you can tell the difference in the weight. All of the weight is up front due to the motor. And with these, you know, the weight's kind of more spread out. The, weight, the motor doesn't weigh as much. Very, very eager to rip some trails this upcoming year. You guys are gonna see the whole thing. Um, oh God, I can't. I saw the pictures of this thing in real life. You know, I'm, it always looks different on the computer rendered 3D. Uh, this color just pops on the snow. If you haven't looked at it yet, go check it out on YouTube, somebody. There's a couple of them in this color scheme out there. Coming out of a corner, ripping that two stroke throttle, doing some wheelies. Very, very excited. I'm trying to think if there's any other options I forgot. You know, I skimped out. I didn't even do a tunnel bag. Um, I, I, I think I really am going to do some aftermarket LED handguards on this, really make it pop. Uh, fun fact a lot of people don't know about, uh, the Polaris Boost, how you're going to be able to tell them versus, you know, an NA, is Polaris is pretty much the only brand right now, and they got some crazy Easter eggs. Uh, so for boosts, these little running lights are going to be amber color instead of like the regular white. If you lift the seat up, there's a couple little engravings behind the dash and under the seat of like old vintage logos that they put on there just for fun. They really did a cool job with the customization on these. Turbo two-stroke, 850 cc. We're going to see. These things, um, they... They haven't given many numbers yet, and I have a feeling because they are gonna, they're, they're still going to change so much regarding the ECU. I mean, this has never been done before. A turbo two-stroke 850 from the factory. I know that they're still working on it. There's rumored speculation of like the 185 horsepower range. They said up to nine pounds of boost, but with everything now, it's all elevation dependent. You know, these sensors are crazy and how they have these ECUs and these motors. Um, my guess with the elevation that we're at up north is going to, they say they can run up to nine pounds of boost. I'm guessing this is probably going to be worth around three to four. Time to make your stomachs hurt a little bit. Let's get into the price of this build, even with the minimized options. Oh my Lord. That is, is this, is this a Ferrari? No guys. I mean, this is, it is crazy where we're going uh, in the country right now with this financial situation that we're in. The prices of everything have skyrocketed. This is by far the most expensive stock sled out there right now and like i said i didn't do a whole ton of options i know some people that have these spec'd out to 24 25 grand and that's before the out the door tax you know i mean imagine trying to finance this thing 570 a month jesus um, a lot of my close friends will know me um, i'm very stubborn a motorcycle i'll finance the crap out of a car i'll finance the crap out of but i will never finance a snowmobile that is the absolute last resort uh, snowmobiling is my favorite thing to do, and I couldn't imagine having a snowmobile in the garage, looking at it, knowing that I'm paying for it and unable to use it. I know it kind of you could use the same argument for like a motorcycle or a summer toy, but I don't know, guys. You guys know me. I'm freaking upstate Blake, and snowmobiling is what I do, and I will never finance a snowmobile. I will own it outright. So I'm gonna take whatever we get from the SRX, put it towards that, and we'll keep you, you know, posted with the purchase. I know that that is a substantial price tag, but I think Polaris did a great job. You know, they incorporated the Walker Evans, which was an available option on the regular 850s. Um, they include that standard. They include the 7S display standard. A couple of things that you want. I did ride uh, Upstate Travis's. 850 he's got the the same thing the only difference is the turbo and the color um th this skid that they have on these things hold on let's zoom in here the two things that stood out to me when i wrote upstate travis's uh regular 850 was these angled rails that they got i mean the turning ability on this for for being a 146 is nuts um i've never been on the lake you know in marginal conditions and ripped the bar and the thing just grips i mean these walker evans do an incredible job the angled rails do a really really good job it felt great so i'm optimistic so yes guys we are getting a polaris 2023 boost assault um don't worry that yamaha clock is never coming off that wall we still got the big drag sled sidewinder in the garage so i'm still a yamaha guy Really appreciate it. I know this has been a long talking video. Next video, we will get back to the winner and finish out that season and just keep getting better with each video. If you like this, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the updates and we will see you next video.